Hello, Tom Fresnel here from the Naval History and Heritage Command, and today we are again going to be cooking with history with a recipe out of the 1945 edition of the Cookbook of the United States Navy. And the recipe we'll be focusing on today, in honor of National Hot Chocolate Day, is hot cocoa. Now you may not know this, but hot chocolate or hot cocoa actually dates back to the age of sail with the United States Navy. In fact, in the very early days uh, uh, from the Revolutionary War, even into the War of 1812, you see chocolate being sold to sailors for use aboard vessels, along with sugar and other condiments. And they were known to make hot cocoa with the chocolate that they were given. Now, it's not the sweetened chocolate that we know today. It was mostly like a dark chocolate version that they would get. And when they shaved it down and then mixed it with milk and sugar, they would make hot cocoa. So with that history in mind, you can almost envision sailors aboard USS Constitution shaving down bricks of chocolate, mixing it with hot milk and, and sugar, and making themselves a version of hot chocolate that, or hot cocoa that we know today. It was something that they would use to fortify themselves and give themselves a, a little bit more energy. In fact, up until about the early, early or late 19th century, it was believed that hot chocolate or hot cocoa had medicinal purposes for, for people as well, for stomach ailments and to give them boosts as well. And now we know it was the sugar and the chocolate in it that would give people boosts. And it still does today. Now, unlike the sailors aboard USS Constitution, who probably made the, this in small batches, the 1945 recipe was meant for a very large crew to be made in the galley in large steam-jacketed kettles. Now, I don't have a steam-jacketed kettle here, and I don't have 100 sailors to give this uh, hot cocoa to, so we've scaled down the recipe so uh, we can make it here, and you can try it at home as well. So the original yield was about uh, uh, six and one-fourth gallons. We've scaled it down to about five cups. So we're, we're going to go through the ingredients, tell you what they originally were, and then what the scaled-down version is. So again, you can try this at home. So the first ingredient is milk, liquid, originally five and a half gallons. We'll be using five cups. Next is cocoa, originally uh, one and a half quarts. We'll be using one fourth of a cup in one tablespoon. Next is sugar, uh, originally one and a half quarts. We'll be using one fourth of a cup in one tablespoon. Next is salt, originally one teaspoon. We'll be using a pinch, maybe even less. And then water, originally one and one and a half quarts. We'll be using one fourth of a cup in one tablespoon. And here's the makeup for it all. Heat milk to boiling temperature over hot water or in steam jacketed kettle. Do not boil. Combine cocoa, sugar, and salt. Add water gradually to make a smooth paste. Heat to boiling temperature. Stir cocoa syrup into milk. Beat thoroughly with a wire whip. And that's it. So we're going to get into this recipe and uh, in, in honor of uh, National Hot Chocolate Day and see how it turns out. Well, our hot chocolate's done and all that's really left to do now is to uh, serve it on up. And as you can see, it's kind of a very creamy consistency. And we'll put some into our watch mug here. Well, all that's left to do now is to uh, give it a try. And uh, it sure smells like hot chocolate. It was kind of interesting mixing up the, uh, uh, the, the chocolate and sugar and salt and, and water to create that, uh, uh, that paste that it was talking about. It was almost like a brownie mixture, it seemed. But uh, like I said, it smells like hot chocolate, so why not give it a try? It's... It's not bad. Uh, it's creamy. It's uh, it tastes like hot chocolate. Uh, the salt in there kind of br brings it up a, another level, but uh, it's like it's missing something a little bit more. But uh, but it's not bad. You can definitely add on to this recipe and and uh, and put more stuff into this uh, this 
hot chocolate. But again, it for for a historic recipe in honor of National Hot Chocolate Day, it's a pretty good effort right here. And it's another uh, fun recipe out of the 1945 edition of the Cookbook of the United States Navy. If you would like more information, please visit the website of the Naval History and Heritage Command, history.navy.mil, and we'll see you at our next cooking video.